Here we have an uh, integration area question, and there's no scaffolding, you just told it's nine marks. Good luck. Well, it's not too hard to think your way through this one. You've clearly got to integrate this curve with the limits 8 and a, and your answer should be 45. So in other words, you're integrating the expression from 8 to a, I'm writing this in maths this time, um, I'm straight away going to write this in an integratable form. 7 over x to the power of a third is 7 times x to the power minus a third. And we're told that whole thing is equal to 45. Now I'm going to kind of ignore for the moment that it's equal to 45. We'll worry about that later once we've integrated it. I think it's just going to get in the way if I keep the equals 45 um, on the right hand side of the equation throughout. So I'm just going to leave that until later. So let's integrate this, square brackets, power a third is going to go up to four thirds, I'm going to divide by that new power, and then this power minus a third is going to go up to two thirds, I'm going to divide by that new power. And I'm just going to tidy up both of those terms, division by four thirds is the same as the multiplication by three quarters, times two gives us three over two, and the same thing with the other uh, expression. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to put the limits through this now. So if we put the limit a through, then that's to be to first just replacing these x's with a's. Let's just do that up there out of the way. Now we need to put the limit 8 through as well. So we're going to subtract brackets, starting with 3 over 2 times 8 to the power 4 over 3. That's what I've got here. Now, I don't have loads of space here. You'd set this on lots of different lines of working, but 8 to the power of 4 thirds is 16, and 3 over 2 times 16 is 24. Um, and then if we substitute the 8 into this uh, expression, start with minus 21 over 2 times x to the 2 thirds. Well, 8 to the power of 2 thirds is 4, and 21 over 2 times 4 is 42. OK, I'm going to keep going actually in this space. 24 take away 42 is negative 18, and we're taking away negative 18, which is adding 18. And at this point, I'm going to bring in that equals 45. And I'm still going to operate in this space. I can uh, subtract 45 from both sides to leave that as minus 27 equals 0. So here we have a disguised quadratic now equaling zero. Now to solve this, um, I'm going to let d, I've just chosen d, equal a to the power of two thirds. So we've got three over two d squared, take away 21 over two d, take away 27 equals zero. To solve this, I can uh, multiply everything by two. I can then divide everything by three. Now, it's detailed reasoning, by the way, so don't just shove this in your class with calculator and uh, get answers to this quadratic. Okay, you need to show yourself solving it. Um, this factorises, and that leads to the temporary solutions d equals 9 and d equals minus 2. Let's bring back our a's using this uh, substitution again. So a to the power of 2 thirds is either 9 or minus 2. Well, to solve this equation, you can actually just raise both sides of the equation to the power 3 over 2. Um, so a is 9 to the power 3 over 2, which is 27. If we try that with the other side, minus 2 to the power 3 over 2 doesn't work. The reason is because power 3 over 2 means you're square rooting and then cubing, and you can't square root a negative, so that's why it doesn't work. So you get no solutions. I would probably write that. I have run out of room here, but it's a detailed reasoning question. So I would write um, no solutions because you can't square root a negative number. And that just leaves us with the answer 27.